Hi guys, I'm Maylin Dovan, certified athletic therapist and founder of Rehab U Movement and Performance Therapy. We're in part two of our Bad Cues series. Um, another bad cue that I hear a lot, or it's misused, or it's overused, or it's used at the wrong time, whatever the case, um, is the squeeze the shoulder blades. So it's um, probably uh, the most popular cue for horizontal rowing exercises. So I'm gonna squeeze the shoulder blades and then row, um, which winds up with a lot of people overworking the rhomboids, um, which can be problematic in a, in a lot of cases. So if I overwork my rhomboids, um, you can keep your arms down for now. So if these get really sh strong and short, they actually keep the scapula downward rotated. Okay, and we need the scapula to upward rotate for proper overhead movement. So if these guys are too short, they're gonna keep that scapula down and they're gonna limit this guy, this overhead movement. Okay, so we don't wanna overwork the rhomboids. The other thing about it is the cue to squeeze the shoulder blades and you hear people, you know, pinch my fingers between your shoulder blades, imagine there's a pencil between your shoulder blades and squeeze that is it's not a natural movement for the shoulder. It's a great movement to isolate those rhomboids, but it's not actually the natural position in which you wanna do horizontal rowing. So if I get him here to squeeze, squeeze his shoulder blades as hard as he can, you know, whether I like it or not, this is not gonna be as natural a position for him to do like a row movement. So go ahead and pull your elbows in like you were rowing because now I'm getting all this over activation up at the top here. If instead I have him just bring your shoulder blades just slightly down so they retract a little bit and downward rotate just a little bit and then row from this position, he's gonna get a nice, a better center. Okay, and if you've seen my capsule on the two functional posi positions of the shoulder you need to own, that subtle depression and retraction is our stable position of the shoulder. That's what we wanna work from. Not an overly retracted position. It's not a natural position for the shoulder. So if I had him even in a ring row, so where he's setting up under the rings to do rows, so you would have rings or a TRX in, in, depending on the gym you're working in. Now if I have him squeeze his shoulder blades really, really hard and then row, he's a little bit extended, he's a little bit upper trap, dominant, if I have him come back down, and now, I have him, and now I have him just slightly do an external rotation torque, get your shoulder blades just a little bit down, and now row, it's nice and clean, and we're getting a lot more lats work, and you can see there's a lot less congestion at the upper traps. So it's just a better position to work in, and it's still a stable position for the scapula. Okay, so over retracting the shoulder blades, squeezing the shoulder blades, is not the right way to cue for scapular stability, okay? The other um, area, and you can stand up, the other area where I hear it sometimes is when we do the famous uh, scap pull-ups. So when we're in an overhead position, so we use the scap pull-up because when we have people hanging from a bar, what we don't want is them hanging into their passive structures. So just hanging at the end, end range of motion, and just having all that tension in the ligamentous structures and the shoulder capsule. What we want is we wanna activate the deep muscles of the shoulder in that position, but it's very subtle. So the same thing, this cue, it's literally not possible for you to squeeze your shoulder blades in that top position, as in retracting the shoulder blades and bringing them together because you'd be downward rotating them and you can't do that if you're in this overhead position. So again, up there, it's a, just a subtle, external rotation torque, bringing them slightly down and in, and that's it, okay? So very subtle, where he's just not hanging there, he's just slightly, so even a little less than that. And there we go, okay? So he's not actually, he's just kind of externally rotating at the shoulder and just getting into a more active position, but he's not trying to squeeze his shoulder blades together. If he did, try and squeeze your shoulder blades together, he'd probably feel a little bit of a pinch up in there. You feel a pinch up in there? So, because now he's bringing these into downward rotation and there's no space for the humeral head. Okay, you can jump off. So again, squeeze the shoulder blades, probably not the best cue in all situations. So 
And again, the basics is teaching people the proper positions. If you want, go ahead, look at my capsule, functional positions of the shoulder you need to own, and I go through that positioning of the scapula where we want that subtle balance between slight upward rotation and some retraction and downward rotation. So where do we find that balance? So own the two end ranges so that you can then work within them.